For today's video, we are going to talk about how to multiply radicals and I'm going to show you the different kinds of problems that you may encounter in multiplying radicals. So let's start and let's have an example. On example number 1, we have square root of 7 multiplied by square root of 3. In multiplying radicals, always remember, we can only multiply radicals if we have the same index. Since we have the same index, all we have to do is to copy the index and the radical sign and let us multiply 7 times 3, it will give us 21. And this will be our answer. On example number 2, we have square root of 8 multiplied by square root of 2. Since we have the same index, let us have 8 times 2, that is 16. And the square root of 16 is 4. So this will be our answer. On example number 3, we have square root of 3 multiplied by square root of 15. So again, we have the same index. Let us have 3 times 15, that is 45. Since we can factor 45, let us find the factors of 45, which one of the factors is perfect square. So let us have 9 and 5. 9 multiplied by 5, that is 45, and 9 is a perfect square. So the square root of 9, that is 3. So we are going to have 3 square root of 5. On example number 4, we have square root of 2x multiplied by square root of 18x cubed. Since we have the same index, let us have 2 multiplied by 18, that is 36. And let us copy the variable x and let us add the exponent, that is 4. So the square root of 36 is 6 and the square root of x raised to 4, that is x squared. On example number 5, we have cube root of 16xy squared multiplied by cube root of 4x squared y. Again, in multiplying radicals, we must have the same index. Since we have the same index and that is 3, let us copy the index and the radical sign and let us multiply 16 times 4, that is 64. And then we have x multiplied by x squared. Let us copy the variable x and let us add the exponent, that is 3. And then we have y squared multiplied by y, that is y cubed. So let us have the cube root of 64, that is 4, cube root of x cubed, that is x, and cube root of y cubed, that is y. On example number 6, we have 4th root of 2a raised to 5 b squared times the 4th root of 8a cubed b. So this time, our index is 4. So let us have 4 as our index and let us copy the radical sign. 2 multiplied by 8, that is 16. And let us have a raised to 5 times a cubed. So let us have a raised to 8. All we have to do is to add the exponent, that is 5 plus 3, that is 8. And then we have b squared times b, that is b cubed. The fourth root of 16 is... So let us have 2 to the 4th root of a raised to 8, b raised to 3. Since our index is 4, let us divide the exponent of the radicand by 4. So let us have 2 to the 4th root of a raised to 4, a raised to 4, and b cubed. So let us have 2. Since we have 2 a raised to 4, we are going to have a square and then fourth root of b cubed and this will be our answer on example number three we have negative square root of three times quantity square root of six minus two square root of 15 to simplify the given expression we are going to use distributive property so let us have negative square root of three multiplied by square root of six that is negative square root of 18 and then we have negative 1 multiplied by negative 2 that is positive 2 and square root of 3 times square root of 15 that is square root of 45 again to simplify this one let us find the factors of the radicand so the factors of 18 that is 9 and 2 
9 multiplied by 2 is 18 and 9 is a perfect square. And let us have 2 and the factors of 45 that is 9 and 5. 9 multiplied by 5 is 45 and 9 is a perfect square. So let us have the square root of 9 that is 3. So we are going to have negative 3. Then we have square root of 2 plus 2. The square root of 9 is 3. And then we have square root of 5. So to write our final answer, let us have negative 3 square root of 2 plus 2 times 3 that is 6. And then we have square root of 5. And this will be our answer. On example number 8, we have square root of x times the quantity of square root of x plus x square root of y minus square root of xy. Again, to simplify the given expression, we are going to use distributive property. So let us have square root of x times square root of x. It will give us square root of x squared. And then... Let us have square root of x multiplied by x square root of y. So let us write x and let us have square root of xy. And then we have square root of x times negative square root of xy. It will give us negative square root of x square y. So let us simplify. The square root of x square, that is x. And let us write x square root of xy minus the square root of x squared, that is x, and then we have square root of y. You can write your answer in this form, or if you want, you can write in factored form. So the greatest common factor in the given expression, that is x. So we are going to have x divided by x, that is 1. And then we have x square root of xy divided by x, let us cancel this one. It will give us square root of xy. And then we have negative x square root of y divided by x. That is negative square root of y. We are going to cancel this one. So this will be our final answer. On example number 9, we have 2 cube root of 4 times the quantity of cube root of 32 plus 3 cube root of 4 minus 3. To simplify, we are going to use distributive property. So let us have 2 cube root of 4 multiplied by cube root of 32, it will give us 2 cube root of 128, that is 32 times 4. And then, 2 cube root of 4 multiplied by 3 cube root of 4, let us have 2 times 2, and that is 6. Let us have cube root of 4 times 4, that is 16. And let us have negative 3 times 2, cube root of 4, that is negative 3 times 2 is negative 6, and then we have cube root of 4. So let us simplify. We are going to find the factors of the radicon, which one of the factors is perfect cube, because our index is 3. So let us write 2, and let us have the factors of 128, that is 64 and 2. 64 multiplied by 2 is 128, and 64 is a perfect cube. And let us have 6 cube root of 16, the factors of 16, that is 8 and 2. 8 multiplied by 2 is 16, and 8 is a perfect cube. And let us write negative 6 cube root of 4. So let us have 2. The cube root of 64, that is 4. Then we have cube root of 2 plus 6, cube root of 8, that is 2, then cube root of 2 minus 6, cube root of 4. 2 multiplied by 4, that is 8, and then we have cube root of 2 plus 2 times 6, that is 12, cube root of 2 minus 6, cube root of 4. So to simplify the given expression, always remember, in adding and subtracting radicals, we can only add and subtract radicals if we have the same index and same radicand. So we are going to combine this one. So we have 8 plus 12, that is 20 cube root of 2, and we are going to write this one that is 6 cube root of 4. And this will be our final answer.
On example number 10, we have 3x cube root of 9x times the quantity of 4 cube root of 6x square minus 4 cube root of 9x square. Again, to simplify the given expression, we are going to use this distributive property. So let us multiply this one. Let us have 3x multiplied by 4, that is 12x. We have cube root of 9x times 6x square, that is 54, and let us copy the variable x, and let us add their exponent, that is 3. And then we have 3x multiplied by negative 4, that is negative 12x, and then we have cube root of 9x times 9x squared, that is 81x cubed. So let us simplify. Let us find the factors of the radicand, which one of the factors is perfect cube, because our index is 3. So let us write 12x cube root of 54. The factors of 54, that is 27 and 2. 27 times 2 is 54, and 27 is a perfect cube. And let us write x cube. And then we have negative 12x cube root of 81. The factors of 81, that is 27 and 3. 27 times 3 is 81, and 27 is a perfect cube. And let us write x cubed. So let us simplify. We have 12x, and the cube root of 27, that is 3. Cube root of x cubed, that is x. And then we have cube root of 2, minus 12x. The cube root of 27 is 3. Cube root of x cubed is x, and we have cube root of 3. 12x times 3x, that is 36x squared, cube root of 2, minus 12x times 3x, that is negative 36x squared, cube root of 3. Since we have the greatest common factor, that is 36x squared, let us have 36x squared, then let us divide 36x squared, cube root of 2, divide by 36x squared, let us cancel this one, it will give us cube root of 2, and then we have negative 36x squared, cube root of 3, divide by 36x squared, we are going to cancel this one, it will give us negative cube root of 3, and this will be our final answer. On example number 11, we have square root of 2 times cube root of 2. As you can see, we have different radicand that is 2 and 3. So the first thing that we are going to do is to convert the given radical expression into fractional exponent. So let us write this one as 2 raised to 1 half times 2 raised to 1 third. And then let us have the base 2. And let us have the LCM of 2 and 3, and that is 6. And then, we have 6 divided by 2, that is 3 times 1, is 3. And 6 divided by 3 is 2 times 1, is 2. And this time, let us convert this one into radical form. So we have the 6 root of 2 raised to 3 times the 6 root of 2 squared. So let us have the 6th root of 2 raised to 3, that is 8. You are going to multiply 2, 3 times to itself, that is 8. And let us have 6th root of 2 squared, that is 4. And since we have the same index, let us multiply the radicand. Let us have the 6th root of 8 times 4, and that is 6th root of 32. And this will be our answer. On example number 12, we have quantity square root of 2 plus square root of 3 times quantity of square root of 2 minus square root of 3. As you can see, we have the product of the sum and difference of two terms that is written in the form of quantity a plus b times quantity a minus b. If you are going to multiply this one, we are going to have the product of the difference of their square that is a square minus b square. So all you have to do to simplify the given expression is to multiply the first term and first term and last term and last term. 
So we have square root of 2 times square root of 2, that is 4. And we have positive times negative, that is negative. And square root of 3 times square root of 3 is square root of 9. Square root of 4 is 2. Square root of 9 is 3. And 2 minus 3 is negative 1. And this will be our answer. On example number 13, we have quantity square root of 3 plus square root of 5 times quantity of square root of 2 minus square root of 5. So this time, to simplify the given expression, we are going to use FOIL method. So let us have square root of 3 times square root of 2, that is square root of 6. Square root of 3 times negative square root of 5, that is negative square root of 15. And square root of 5 times square root of 2, that is square root of 10. Square root of 5 times negative square root of 5, that is negative square root of 25. And let us simplify. Since we can add this one because we have different radicand, let us write square root of 6 minus square root of 15 plus square root of 10. And the square root of 25 is 5. And this will be our answer. On example number 14, we have quantity 2 plus square root of 8 times quantity 3 minus square root of 2. Just like in the previous example, we are going to use FOIL method to simplify the given expression. So let us have 2 times 3, that is 6. And let us have 2 multiplied by negative square root of 2, that is negative 2 square root of 2. Square root of 8 times 3, that is 3 square root of 8 and square root of 8 times negative square root of 2 that is negative square root of 16. So let us have 6 and let us write negative 2 square root of 2 and let us write 3. Let us find the factors of 8 that is 4 and 2 and the square root of 16 is 4. Let us simplify. 6 minus 4, that is 2. And let us have negative 2, square root of 2, plus 3. The square root of 4 is 2, and we have square root of 2. So we have 2 minus 2, square root of 2. 3 times 2 is 6, square root of 2. Let us simplify this one. It will give us 2, negative 2, plus 6, that is 4, square root of 2. And this will be our answer. On example number 15, we have quantity square root of 6 minus square root of 2 square. As you can see, we have a square of binomial. So all we have to do is to square the first term. And let us multiply the first term and second term by the constant 2. That is negative 2 because we have negative sign. And we have square root of 6 times square root of 2. And lastly, we are going to square the last term. That is negative square root of 2. So let us cancel the radical sign and the exponent that is 6. And we have negative 2 square root of 6 times square root of 2 that is square root of 12. And we have negative square root of 2 that is positive 2. 6 plus 2 that is 8. And we have negative 2. Let us find the factors of 12 that is 4 and 3. So we have 8 minus 2, the square root of 4 is 2, and we have square root of 3. And then we have 8, negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, and then we have square root of 3. And this will be our final answer. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching, and God bless us all.